All right, shalom, shalom, everybody. I want to come on and give a very, very quick encouragement. Um, it actually it started raining really bad here, like it got dark, and I was like, oh, okay, well, Lord, we're going to have a storm. Thank you, Father. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you for this storm. Because I know, um, you know, during the storm, we, we can we can amount that to adversity. You know, I know doing that, it's testing my faith. It's testing my faith and building my faith. But also, uh, what kept going through my head was that how the, how the scripture keeps telling you, "Don't worry, never fear, don't fear." Right. So I just started thanking him. I just started thanking him. And uh, when I started thanking him, I was like, "Oh, well, I got to go out and pick that up later." Yeah, I got to go. I got to pick up. You know, what the storm messed up. And um, in the power, we had a couple brownouts, so stuff kept turning off. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Um, thank you, Father. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And um, it's like when I started praising, when I started thanking him, it seemed like the worst, the worst of the storm came on. And then next thing I know, it just cleared up. Cleared up, the light returned to the sky. I mean, it's still cloudy, but, you know. Um, so, man, just... just praising him through the storm man because during that storm man like it's it's building your faith it's um sharpening you and it's testing you and uh just as marvin sap says in his song and i just heard it it is uh here i am nope don't count me out marvin sap says and don't count me out he is molding me and making me he is shaping me a king is being formed right before your eyes. Now, um, I, I'm not in no way, shape, or form a king, but it's the he's molding me and making me part that applies here because we get molded and we get made. Whether we're going to um, break during the storm or whether we're going to become harder during the storm, all right? And uh, another quick testimony. I was driving about a year and a half ago. I got up in the morning. Um, I knew I had an hour drive in the town to start to start uh, working, and there was a storm. It was this when I say it was this crazy storm. Cars were pulled over on the side of the road. That's how bad it was, especially for me to get on the highway. I looked up and I, I said, "Lord, I don't want to drive through this, but I know I got to get out, and I know I have to get out and get it. You know, and I, I know I have to get out and work." So I get in the car and I just kept literally in my head. I kept seeing. You know, raising my hand, like when Jesus get, was on the boat and he said, peace be still. He raised his hand, he said, peace be still. And uh, I kept seeing it in my head. So I did the same thing. And I, I like, in my loudest voice, I just yelled it, peace be still. You know, right hand up, man. And when I tell you, I, I pulled over to do it. But when I pulled back on the road, the storm cleared up just like that. And as I'm looking behind me, it was like the storm was following me, but it wasn't raining where I was at or where I was going. And I actually did it twice that day and both times it cleared up. So I, I pray that this encouragement is for you guys out there that are going through the storm and understanding that uh, the Bible tells us multiple times to never fear and also tells us to have faith. So I pray that this encourages you to have faith and understand that you're in the storm to test you, to sharpen you. And just as we talked about in that Marvin Sapp song, don't count me out, to make you and mold you. All right. Shalom, shalom for King and Kingdom.